With WinCC Flexible, you can easily represent process sequences, such as the transporting of a product on a conveyor belt, in just a few steps. What used to require many individual steps can now be done quickly and easily with WinCC Flexible. You simply mark an object, for example, insert it into your process display at the desired location, and select the required type of animation. By setting a start point and an end point, you define the movement path for the object in the process display. You then assign this movement path a variable whose value represents the actual position of the object. At runtime, this value then determines the relative position of the object on the movement path. This is also shown in the following runtime sequence. Display navigation means creation of a configurable display hierarchy for process displays. With the aid of display navigation, you can define a fixed navigation structure for your project. Using the navigation bar, the user can switch back and forth between the individual displays at runtime, as per the configured hierarchical display levels. In the Display Navigation Editor, you place the displays at the desired location in the display hierarchy using drag and drop. You can also configure direct links between displays. Libraries are collections of configured display objects. You can expand the number of available display objects and increase their effectiveness during configuration, since library objects can be used over and over again without being reconfigured. Extensive libraries are provided together with WinCC Flexible, for example, for motors or valves, but you can also define new library objects yourself. The handling of graphics in different formats is not the least bit complicated. The graphics that come with WinCC Flexible and your own graphics are displayed using a graphic browser and integrated in Project Display using drag and drop. In the open display, for example, the placement of graphics in the work area using drag and drop generates a graphical display or enables the labeling of buttons or soft keys. A display driver block is a pre-configured object group which can be configured and modified from a central location. Display driver blocks are used to expand the number of available display objects and reduce configuration overhead while at the same time ensuring your projects a uniform appearance. Display driver blocks are created and modified using the editor of the same name. One of the several things you do when creating a display driver block is to specify which interfaces the display driver block is to have and what events can be configured on it. The properties of a display driver block can be derived from the properties of the object integrated in that block. Once you have created a display driver block, it appears as object in the project library. You can then insert the block in your process displays and configure or assign parameters to its interfaces in the Properties window for the relevant location. Any modifications made to a display driver block are automatically made at all locations in the projects. For common configuration tasks, WinCC Flexible provides predefined system functions with which you can perform many tasks in runtime without any programming experience. Any problems which exceed those which can be fulfilled by the predefined system functions can be resolved with runtime scripting, a programming interface with which you can access parts of the project data, or objects, in runtime. 
The use of runtime scripting is intended for configuring engineers with experience in Visual Basic and Visual Basic Script, or VBS, and is available for panels in the 270 class or newer, and for WinCC flexible runtime for PCs. In the Script Assistant, you can predefine system function parameters, and then insert them into the code using drag and drop. The Script Assistant also provides frequently required statement instruction templates, such as if, then. During programming, you will be additionally supported by IntelliSense functionality, for example, with context-dependent object selection.